All right. Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to our 714 hey. challenge. I got Nate here with me. Hello. Hello, doing? everyone. Yeah, good. How are you doing? Doing good, buddy. Doing real good. Yeah. Uh, feeling good. good. I'm awake this morning. And uh, yeah, it's gonna, it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day once again today. And uh, yeah. looks like it might I'm leave us. Spoiled. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah, for sure. It's coming back around, right? We're going <laughs> to. Yeah. Yeah. It is. But we'll take today. It'll be, it's it'll right. be good. Yeah. That's right. It will Absolutely. be a good day. Yesterday was a good day. Today will be a good day as well. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, everybody get your coffee, get your breakfast. What? Uh, so I was thinking about uh, something we could ask them. And I, I guess I'm curious and you can comment below. What time What time does everybody get up in the morning? Maybe maybe oh. you've already been up for a couple hours and and you're wide awake and at 714 you've already you've already mowed the lawn and and done laundry and <laughs> all that kind of stuff i i'm not an early riser at all i could i could sleep i could still be like a teenager and sleep till 10 11 in the morning could you really no I there's could, no way i could sleep that no, late no, no i do now, like it. I, is that because I of do kids like it a little bit earlier okay oh yeah part of it's because of kids especially now because you i i realize how much work i get done before they actually get up right so i it's nice to be able to do that and you've got two people working from home trying to figure out manage that whole right scenario you're really trying to figure out schedules and how you make that work so mine is usually the early shift um okay, okay. Get to do stuff like this and then you know and uh get some study in and some writing and and uh just spend some time with the lord and make some phone calls and you know do some other things and uh, yeah. then hang out with the kids and let my wife yeah. do what she needs to do. <laughs> there you go. Now, I could get up early. I'm, I'm not a grump in the morning, but I, I, right. I, I like to sleep. Like I could, I can lay there for a while and it doesn't bother me. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. It normally don't allow me to, although I'll tell you what, I, I'm blessed with two of them. will sleep till noon if we let them. So wow. that's, that's pretty awesome. That's sometimes. crazy. Yeah. yeah that's crazy, crazy to me. <laughs> I can't imagine that. I really can't. I was sitting. I think the other day I was sitting downstairs and and I was uh, working working in the morning and it was. I mean, our, Millie is always up. She's always the first one uh -oh. up. And I hear little feet, little coming coming down the stairs, and then she comes and she'll snuggle up next to me and and uh, I'll drink some coffee and she'll just kind of have a little little breakfast snacks and then we go about our day and then yeah it's, it's yeah interesting. <laughs> well, I know, uh, I know dad and, uh, Byron are both, I think they're five o'clock guys a lot of times, which I, whew, that's, yeah. yeah. Anyway, so give us a comment. What time, uh, what time do you guys get up? Are you late sleepers, yeah. early risers? What are you? Kind of fun mm -hmm. to, to see what time people wake up. So, well, anyway, well, let's, let's get into this a little bit. So we have been, uh, we've been going through this holy week right, of Jesus and his journey, starting with the, the triumphal entry of all these people loving on him as he's coming in Jerusalem and, and to the to the Mount of Olives, to, uh, uh, to the Last Supper. And now that brings us to him getting ready to go on trial here. And so, wow, it's what a, what a week, what a whirlwind week uh, right. for Jesus. I mean, I just was thinking about that, going through this, you know, all he's already been through and we haven't even gotten to the trial and the, and the crucifixion for him yet. And right. I just think, man, the toll that was on him and the, and the stress that, that he had to be going through and dealing with had to be so heavy uh, and just yeah, yeah. breaks my heart for him. But again, he knew that was all, he knew that was all part of it. And, right. and he, that's what he, that was part of what he was going to go through for us. Um, right. And just, I just, I'm just so thankful for even that part of it, right? I think lots of times we we focus on the cross, which rightly so, but man, everything leading us lead, leading up to that was also just so heavy uh, on him, I'm sure. So, yeah. Well, yeah, I just think it, I mean, just all it, it's the buildup of all of it, knowing what's coming through prophecy, through obviously being the Son of God and, and yeah. God Himself, right? Knowing knowing that what what is coming, you know, and I don't know. I, I mean, I think about that and I think about some of the, the minor instances that I've had in my life where um, where I've known <laughs> I know that that a a tough conversation is coming or mm -hmm. 
or there is going to be some kind of conflict that's coming in my way or something that I would perceive for myself as painful, right? And, and how, how heavy that can be uh, on me. And I can't even fathom, I can't even fathom knowing that what is, what is, what is definitely going to come that way. And that, you know, that he was honestly, he was offering himself up, right? Like we look at that and we, we look at the situation, we look at, you know, all the false accusation that came and, and, and how he was, just the trial in itself was just crazy and that and ultimately jesus is the one that offered himself up and yeah yeah at any point he could have stepped to the side and said nope i'm not taking it yeah but but he 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 knew he knew what needed to happen right and uh just <clears throat> man i i i would i want to believe that i could do that i don't know if i could though you know it's just so easy just to st- step off to the side and say, "It's no, I'm not. I'm not the son of God." Yeah, <laughs> right. right. I, I mean, you mentioned, you know, when we know we have to have a tough conversation, and how I chicken out on those lots of times, right? Yeah. And so to right. think right. that I could have done what there's right. no right, no. it gets sugar coated or right. doesn't, the conversation right. doesn't actually happen the way it yeah. should happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm yeah. right there with you. Like, oh my goodness, just the fullness of what had to take place, and just uh, yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. Really, it really is. And knowing, and knowing, like there was a spiritual battle that came with it, right? And and but the, there was just a there was such a human element to it in. And I don't know, we, we can get into that, but I don't, I don't yeah. know where you want to start. So go yeah. ahead. Well, <laughs> I'll let you get yeah. after it. It's just, I mean, there's just so much. I mean, it, it, the arrest in the garden, you know, when they come and, and arrest him, you know, he's just betrayed by one of his loyal 12, right? Yeah. Judas betrayed, you know, so he that happens to him. I'm sure that that's hurting him, um, you know, because he loves Judas, right? He, he, right. Does, he doesn't hate Judas. He does, He loves him. And this guy betrays him. And so now we get to the arrest and, and, you know, as the story goes, you know, Peter then is coming to Jesus defense. He, he cuts off one of the, the guards ear. Jesus says, stop, you know, there was your chance for escape. I, I mean, I think as a kid and even, even in a lot of my adult years, hearing the story over and over, I always think, oh man, there could have been an opportunity to, to get away. You know, they could have fled right. and you know, rooting for Jesus to, to make it out of that. But, Every moment from him being arrested to um, him being whipped to to him being on that stage with Barabbas and them choosing Barabbas, Jesus wouldn't have had it any other way, right? I mean, he loves Barabbas. He loves Judas. He, you know, his best friend, one of his best friends, Peter, denies him three times. And so just all these emotions, I just think about Jesus going through before even getting to the cross. Oh right. my gosh, just the, the way and and how he handled himself and how he went through every bit of that with love and compassion for me is mm-hmm. just oh my word, that could just oh, that just tears me up. But I'm so grateful and glad uh because you know, as the scripture says, we know this, the joy that was set before him there he endured the cross. And that's right. Woo, man. Yeah. Amazing. So the, even so that that in itself, just thinking about that, and it's, and we ultimately what we come to, we come to this point where we think about our sin that has caused him to have to be to have to experience this and go through this. But I think I think what the joy that that was even set before him was was us uh, stepping into our our the fullness of what he has planned, what what God has planned for us, right? You know, and the moments the moments of where we we allow Jesus to take control of our life and yeah. those th- that that is that's I think those are the things that we need to look at when it comes to this even as heavy as it is and even though we need to you know look at our sin as it is and 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 repent right and 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 go in the right direction like this still Good. is so so important that we we realize that he died for everything all of our sin but he also it was also it was also for us to have a full life as well. Yes. And, and yep. to live it to the yep. fullest. Yep. So, yep. Yeah. Yeah. And I think about that. You talk it, you're talking about just all that of the the moments leading up to the trial. And 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 then you think about everything that led up to that point 
um, we we think about the spiritual aspect of it, but in, in what like, here comes that human portion of it when it comes to the other side of it is it was it was a it was even more so that the situation happened is more of a political move by a religious leader in Caiaphas in yes. the Sanhedrin, mm-hmm. and because because what was happening is that there was this there was a rumbling taking place amongst the people and it was it was it was pulling away from what Caiaphas the 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 type of clout that he had and and he was losing some of his ground with the Roman rule and right. and man just how how crazy that was because you know you, you think about Jesus having to come and stand before that group that who who were religious who knew the law left and right, upside down, right to left, I guess is what it was. But yeah. knowing it upside yeah. down, they wore it on their foreheads, you know, and they had all of that. It, they knew what the law was, and yet their motives, their motives were were purely human. Right. And and once again, it comes back to even though they had their motives. Because you look at that, you look at that trial, and I'm gonna get a little nerdy here. So I'm sorry if I <laughs> if somebody doesn't want to Not listen right. to this, <laughs> but but the, that's the thing is as they they stood before as he stood before the Sanhedrin as he's brought in and he's standing before this 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 group of of men who were in charge of the civil and religious law of the of the, of the land. Um, he, he's he's standing there and and even though Jesus what what he what he had done. What he had, what he, what he had taught, what he had gone into the the, the temple and and drove out all of the merchants and and all of these things was causing a big upstirring, which gave them ground. You know, all of this kind of gave them grounds to try to to arrest him. the The trial itself, <laughs> the trial itself, was was completely done in a way that what it shouldn't have been done. Yeah. In fact, in the Jewish law, it was. The trial was supposed to happen during the day. It happened at night. Mm-hmm. The trial was supposed to uh, the trial was supposed to uh, be at a certain at the at a certain place. It happened at Caiaphas's home. Um, it, it was supposed to take pl- it wasn't supposed to take place on a day of feast. Like all of this stuff, when you look at I mean, you look at the court of law, it could have been thrown out. <laughs> Right. It could have easily been thrown out. And the, the, the what's really great, what is really crazy about it is the trial was going so wrong for Caiaphas. Like all of it was going wrong. He needed to prove that Jesus was threatening to destroy the temple and they couldn't get the story straight and it wasn't coming together. And he had nothing. He had nothing to hold Jesus in all of this until until he asked Jesus if he was the son of God. In 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 the in the in Mark's version of it, Jesus he he admits to being saying that he is the Son of God, mm-hmm. and and right there that was enough for Caiaphas to go. That's it, it's blasphemy. And they're like, we're going to arrest him. But what's really crazy about it is they had no, they couldn't they couldn't execute him. They couldn't do anything about it. That's why they needed the Romans in that because then they were the ones that were able to do that. Right. But even then. But even then, they still didn't have grounds. The Romans weren't going to execute them because of blasphemy. They had to they had to dig deeper and they had to turn turn some things to make it work in their in their behalf. And that's where you start to see, you know, you talk about Barabbas and you talk about right. you see all these other instances where the these these religious leaders, the San the Sanhedrin comes in and and gathers people and they begin to to really just throw throw a riot riot type oh yeah they're manipulating the whole thing yeah yep. yeah yep. yeah and and and, and Pontius Pilate can't do anything about it. he has Nothing he has about. to keep maintain control and so right. he, the right. way he's gonna maintain control is by making sure that they get what they want and all right right and it's yeah how that all just lined up I mean that's that's an awesome preface to to uh, where Barabbas comes in you know because the scripture says it's on a it's a tradition that on a holy day, they release a prisoner back to the people. And here you have Barabbas, who is a murderer, a thief, I mean, a bad guy. Yeah. And Jesus, who said he was the son of God. And, you know, you have you have the religious leaders, the Pharisees, all 
you know, release Barabbas, Barabbas, Barabbas. And again, I, I just go back to when I was a kid thinking that Jesus must have been so sad that they didn't pick him. Like, they, why didn't they pick me to release me? And, and you know, no, that, that wasn't what it was at all. He knew. He knew. And, and yeah, he was ready to go through it for us. And I just, man. And, that, and that's, I think that is the one thing that we need to take, we need to hold on to deeper than anything, because we do want to look at that as, as adult, you, you want to see that you want to see the underdog come through and, and, and come to victory. You, you, you see you, what he does, right? <laughs> what he sure, does, right, but, right. but then, but then you think, but you think about it in the context of your favorite movies, like, just like you're talking about, you're waiting for that great escape to take place, yep. you know, and you're, and you're thinking, man, this, it could have happened right there. They just would have. Yeah. You know, and we feel bad. We should feel bad. But this was the intention of the father from the beginning. Right. You know, and 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 just how how powerful that truly is. Right. Um, that at any point he could have stepped to the side and said, nope, right. I'm not doing this. Right. And it would have been OK. And they would have released him. Right. Yep. Because yep. they would have got exactly what they wanted. Yes. For him to say, that's not who I am. Yep. You know, yep. You talk about the great escape. I mean, that great escape happened, but it happened for us, right? Yeah. Because he did go to the cross. We escaped uh, death and eternity and hell because he went through with what he went through. Right. Right. Uh, wow. Wow. Right. Well, and we're going to think in that tomorrow, but uh, yeah. And you think about that. You think about that. And that was, I mean, and I, you know, that was, that was Caiaphas's motive in it, in it too, was like, not only did he need to die for this to stop, you know, for this this revolution to, to stop, but he needed to make sure that he died a terrible death, you know, right. and Romans did that. And they made sure that that took place. But he was, I, I mean, to think that, I mean, he was turning the turning the tension up a little bit during this yeah. entire time. Yeah. You know, and and terrible in so many ways, like, you know, like humiliating, uh, painful and public. I mean, just all those things. Yeah. I mean, wow. That's not even, yeah, you're talking about just even, like, even just get the trial in itself and, and everything that went with that portion of it without even getting into the the, the gorging and all that that took place, you know, that, that happened to him, like how humiliated he was. I mean, you look at, they passed him along. He ends up with Herod and Herod really makes a big joke of it, right. you know, right. and, and just really, man the humiliation that he, that he had to experience mm -hmm. uh, is all, is, is all necessary, I guess. Right. Right. And doing it all with us on his mind, which is just, yeah. <laughs> that yeah. can, that can turn you emotional pretty quick. <laughs> just, it's man, true. So, yeah, it so amazing. And it should. Yeah. And it should. Right. You know, but once again, we remember why he did it, not just for our, our, our sin and, you know, our sin, and, but for our eternal life and our, for our, our, uh, fullness of life here as well. So. Yeah. That's good. Wow. Good. Wow. Well, awesome. Well, we're going to, we're going to continue on with this, uh, tomorrow. I think we're talking about, uh, the death of Jesus and, and what he experienced on the cross and, and talking about that. But, uh, yeah, we just want to talk a little bit about the trial today and, and hopefully we were able to, I don't know, get your mind going a little bit this morning and uh, yeah. uh but uh, it's good it's, it's good to talk about and uh I mean again just wow what a week for Jesus and and we're not even into the to the crucifixion part yet um yeah. the yeah. good part's coming and uh right. it's all good actually but but yeah. yeah yeah so well hey dude why don't you uh why don't you uh, start us out in some prayer and then I'll yeah. I'll uh, close up by praying for our country and, and, uh, for this weekend. And speaking of this weekend, yeah, Easter's coming. Um, we've got uh, communion coming up this weekend. And so make sure if you don't have, uh, if you don't have any, uh, juice and crackers or bread, uh, to go out and get some, cause we'd love for you to invite you to take communion with us this weekend. Um, use whatever you have, use whatever you have. Right. Right. I mean, yeah. 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 Welch's grape juice tends to be the holiest though. So, yeah. <laughs> We deserve a sponsorship after that. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, is there anything else we need to let them know? Uh, other than after we're done praying, there'll be uh, a song. So just yeah, play, yeah, yeah. just stick along, stay, stay with that. But yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, right, buddy. Pray. Okay. Right, well, Father, thank you. 
um, Lord, thank you that uh, that you're not surprised by anything, Lord. That uh, from the get go, that you you had seen this coming, Lord. That uh, your prized creation and, and mankind would be flawed. That they would, um, but they're flawed with uh, with uh, their choices, and Lord, we're, we are flawed with uh, the directions that we we the direction that we point our feet. Um, and Father, we are flawed that we we uh, try to live our life without you at the very center of it. And so, Father, we thank you for um, we thank you for this time as an opportunity just to reflect, um, just to remember, um, Lord, to to talk about this important time in history, yeah. uh, this moment that changes everything. Yeah. Lord, we thank you. We thank you that. We thank you for Jesus. We thank you for his, his, uh, his willingness to stand in the gap for us, Lord, that even, even, uh, even though he is uh, one with you and, 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 and 100% God, that 100% human, humanity that lived within him as well, Lord, I thank you that there was a boldness to just to, to stay the course. Yeah. And Lord, he could have stepped off to the side and he could have he could have shirked any of the blame and, and, and said that this is, that I am not who you say I am. But Father, he still stood boldly. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for that firmness. We thank you for that, that boldness that he had. Lord, we thank you that uh, we, we are sorry. We are sorry for, we are sorry for our sin that put him in that place. Yeah. We repent. We repent from that. And Father, we thank you that it wasn't just, uh, it wasn't just for um, our sin that this took place, but it was for our life here on earth. So, Father, I, my prayer would be that we would uh, uh, we would walk out of this uh, out of this moment, that we would step out of this day, and we would we would choose to live with that in mind. That uh, that he 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 died for our fullness of yes. life here on earth. And may we be uh, emboldened to to be exactly that, to share the hope that we. That we have in Jesus, yes. and that Lord, we just that we are grateful and thankful that regardless of the circumstances that surround us, that we have you at the very center of it, and everything's going to be okay. Lord, That's we right. thank you that your your place in heaven is is and our place in heaven is being prepared as we speak. Yeah. Uh, Lord, thank you, thank you, Jesus, thank you for your blood that was spilled on our behalf. That's right. We uh we just thank you. We praise you for for this time. We thank you and praise you for the time to come. And uh, we just uh, we we pray for those who are lost, um, who don't know the truth of what this is. May this uh may the message of Jesus, may the truth and the gospel reach their ears, and may they forever be changed, Lord, and they, their their path be changed and turn turn towards you. And Lord, we just thank you for the opportunity that we have to be your sons and daughters, to go out and to share the gospel. Yes. Lord, we thank you for your goodness and your, your love for us. We praise you in all things. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I just um, am so grateful for your faithfulness in all things, uh, God. And and um, just thank you for Nate and that we're able to get together even in this way and, and just talk about some some amazing moments in history and the things that you went through, God, and how your faithfulness shown through even then. And, and so, Lord, I'm just uh, so grateful for that. Lord, we just uh, we just want to lift up the country to you once again. Uh, Lord, I, I pray that uh, um, as you speak to our uh, local leaders, our uh, state representatives and leaders and our nation's leaders, uh, Lord, that they would listen for your voice and, Lord, they would follow uh, what you would want them to do. God, may they seek you. May they seek godly counsel in, uh, in their decision-making. And so, Lord, I just pray that for them. And I just pray wisdom for them, uh, that they uh, would lead us in a way uh, that would honor you and that uh, would be good decision-making uh, and, and what you would do. And uh, so, Lord, I just pray that um, you would give them that wisdom and, Lord, that you would uh, give them that peace. Lord, I know that uh, it's got to be so tough to be in the positions that they're in, to making the decisions that they're making, uh, because they're not going to please everybody. And uh, so there's going to be some that agree and some that absolutely do not. Uh, but, Lord, I pray that we 
would continue to pray for them, no matter if we agree with their decision or not, Lord, that they we that they uh, would come to know who you are more and more every day. And uh, so, Lord, we can all pray that, and we can all pray for uh, more of you in our lives, uh, Lord. And so, may we all pray that that it becomes less of us, less of me, and more of you. That you increase in our lives and we decrease. And and so, Lord, I pray that for our our leaders as well. And uh, so, Lord, I pray that you just continue to protect us as we go, uh, Lord. Uh, that this virus um, is eradicated soon, and uh, Lord, people that are going through it and dealing with it, Lord, that you would help them uh, come out of it and, and be healthy. And uh, Lord, I just pray for continued health for those that, that haven't been affected by that and, and for whatever anybody's dealing with. Uh, God, we pray for those as well. So Lord, thank you that we can trust you. Thank you for your love for us. And we praise you. We thank you in Jesus name. Amen. Well, thanks everybody for joining us once again this morning. It is uh, it's a lot of fun uh, doing these, and uh, it's it really is an honor uh, to be part of this, and and uh, we're grateful for what we get to do uh, even in this time. So, uh, thanks for being a part of this, and uh, don't forget to stick around for the worship song afterwards, and to tune back in again tomorrow morning at seven fourteen. See you guys.
bids me come and die and find that I may truly live. Bless you.